So I'm training for a really big through hike this summer and I'm just starting to get into the rhythm of purchasing gear and figuring out exactly what I need. So I thought as I start buying things, why not talk about it? I have a bin of, you know what, let me just, let me show you. Okay, this is my bin right here of just stuff. This is all stuff that I'm gonna talk about on camera. I interview a lot of people who are doing really adventurous things in the world, and these are all products that I see a lot of people using. So today I picked out three products pertaining to my feet, and these are all things that I'm using currently in training for the Pacific Northwest Trail. I have personally purchased these products, they were not given to me. First things first, I am very prone to foot injuries, especially my toes and my toenails. A few months ago, I went on a river rafting trip up in El Dorado County in Northern California, and we were getting into the water and we were all holding the raft, and the gentleman in front of me decided to drop it, and the raft landed right on my foot, and instead of pulling back, I shot my toe forward and just ripped the toenail off. I really wanted to do this river rafting trip, so the really nice woman who worked for the company actually duct taped my toe. I jammed my toe on a rock, so I can't do the uh, voluntary swim. But Lenny's going to in my place. Oh, I am now, aren't I? <laughs> so I'm very particular about the shoes and the products that I put on my feet. And shout out to Pacific Crest Trail hiker Jennifer Mavis. She introduced me to two of these products that I'm about to talk about. I'm actually really excited because these are three footwear products that I've been using for probably the last two months and I absolutely love them. Are you ready? First item are my Hoka 1-1 hiking sneakers. These are women's speed goat mid-waterproof sneakers. These are made for hiking. Last year I was using such a thick, heavy hiking boot and I was guaranteed to get black toes and blisters and they hurt a lot. So I decided to move from the hiking boot back to a lighter hiking sneaker. Within the Hoka 1-1 brand, I picked these particular shoes because they are waterproof and I'll be hiking up near Montana, Idaho, and Washington this summer where it gets very, very wet. So having a shoe that was waterproof was very, very important to me. I hate wet feet and wet socks. Hoka 1-1s in general are incredible, comfortable, and flexible. The base is made of Vibram Mega Grip high traction outsoles, so you won't be sliding all over the place. They are light. They only weigh about 10.5 ounces. I'm really excited because I've put about 30 miles on them so far and they are so light. All of my toenails are intact, so that's a good thing. Okay, so our second product is all about socks. I think it was about a year ago I started investing in better socks. I was totally that girl who would purchase all her socks at Target, like the big like packages of like 20 socks. These are Darn Tough socks, and that's actually the name of the brand, Darn Tough Vermont. I have two pairs of Darn Tough socks. The company is based in Vermont, and that's where they make all of their products. The company is family owned and operated and they have been designing socks for about 40 years. That is a long time to be making socks. So if they haven't figured it out by now, I the socks are made out of a special kind of wool that's finer and softer. It really does feel like they form to your feet. The company is really honed in to making very durable and comfortable socks for very adventurous people. Or even if you have a job where you're on your feet all the time, 
you just, you need to invest in better socks. If, if you take anything away from this video, it's that. It's, it's please invest in better socks. You will be way more comfortable and happy. I don't have a lot of socks. Like, I think I own five pairs of socks. I don't really understand those people who have like a sock drawer of like 50 million pairs of socks and they only wear like three, but they keep all 50 million for some odd reason. And they're all in this one drawer and they're all mismatched and that would drive me absolutely insane. I, I really do own like five pairs that are just in circulation. Last product in Diana's footwear extravaganza are my Dirty Girl Gators. This is kind of a product that I never knew I needed until I had it, if that makes sense. The company is based in Green Valley, Arizona, and was started by an ultra marathoner who was sick of getting dirt in her shoes while she was running. I love the desert and I try to get out there as much as possible. So hiking in the desert on the sand and dirt, I was constantly kicking up rocks and just crap in my shoes and it's annoying. Dirty Girl Gators keeps everything out of your shoes. These are awesome for hiking, biking, running. And all you do to set them up is the product comes with a Velcro strip. You cut a piece, stick it to the back of your shoe. You put your sock on, then you put the Dirty Girl Gator on. attach the back, and then attach the front with a hook that's already on the product. My hiking shoes actually have these indentations on them. I don't know if you could like see this, but they have these indentations. So the Dirty Girl Gators actually go over and then they actually stay on. So I actually don't need that Velcro, but um, I put it on there just so you can see how to use it. They have a ton of prints. I chose these because I love space and stars and color. These are the products that I'm training with. Um, we all have different feet and different taste buds and different bodies and we all like different things. So maybe some of these products will be beneficial for you to check out. Maybe you love your hiking boots or you love the products that you're already using. Um, if anything, this will just make you a little bit more knowledgeable about what's out there. A link to all of these products is in the description below, and on their websites they have more of the intricate details of each product. If there's any products you think I should check out, um, direct message me on Instagram, that's probably the best way, um, or comment below or send me a message and let me know. Yeah, any questions about these products that I'm using, just send me a message and I'll, answer, I'll try my best to answer them. I think the next video is going to be on hydration, so I'll talk about my whole hydration kit um, of what I use when I'm training. That might actually be kind of cool. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>